What? What? Happy Pink Day! Happy Pink Day. Here's my skirt. You can see I know the, the camera. Whoa. Okay. How is everybody? I'm looking around the halls and there's pink everywhere. Thank you so much. I don't know how many of you found a cape like I did, but my goal by the end of today is to fill this cape with names. Names of family members that you have supported through breast cancer. Um, I, I've got some on my back already, but we, uh, we need more. And you are going to be those heroes. I don't know, I'll just leave that like this. Notice what I did with the neck warmer. So when you buy one of these, you can fashion them in so many different ways. Look at, look. So amazing, isn't it? Okay, listen, we still have t-shirts in room 151 for you. And, uh, and that is Mrs. Serenko's room. I think it's 151. I was running late today. I don't know why. Um, so I want you to buy a t-shirt if you don't already have one and we can decorate them as well. And I think we have maybe only 10 more ear warmers, the smaller ones, but you can also get those from Mrs. Serenko in her healthcare class. And though the smaller ones are $10, so don't forget. Guys, we are lighting it up pink today. We are gonna be part of history that smashes out breast cancer. Don't forget, it is an epidemic. Anyone that you are supporting, we are supporting. Have a great Friday. I love you. Don't ever forget it. Good morning, everyone. This announcement, I've got two announcements, mainly for the grade nines. Next Wednesday, November 2nd, is Take Our Kids to Work Day. That's the day you have the opportunity to go with a parent, guardian, family member, and job shadow them with at their placement for the day instead of coming to school. Now, we do need your parent consent form filled out and signed. If you have returned it, that's great. You're on track. We will let attendants know that you'll be there instead of school. If you still haven't returned the form, please fill it out. Return it to the guidance office as soon as possible. Monday would be great. Tuesday is the absolute last day because Wednesday is the take our kids to work day. Okay, so please do that. If you do not have the consent form filled out, you're not going with a parent or guardian to, to job shadow them, then you are expected to be at school. There will be some career activities that you might be able to access online from school, but you are expected to be at school. Okay. And uh, a second announcement for SHSM students. Anybody in grade 11 or that you just signed up, uh, please look at the LMS SHSM page for STM. There is an offer there. There will be an SHSM day coming up later on, You'd probably the beginning of second semester, uh, but the board is ordering some t-shirts and if you are interested, you'll have to fill that uh, form out. There's a survey available on that webpage. So please take a look, fill it out. Uh, that deadline is next week, so the sooner you do it, the better. Okay, thank you. Have a great day, guys. Good morning, STM. I'm Bianca. And I'm Lovja. And we're here from the Diversity Committee. Although Truth and Reconciliation Day has already passed, learning about the culture and history of the Indigenous peoples of Canada does not stop there. We, the Diversity Committee, would like to continue to bring awareness, understanding, an appreciation of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit histories through their own stories, like this video we have for you today. Thank you. If you want to travel through indigenous country, experience the art. Whether it's a painting, whether it's a sculpture, whether it's a song, Every piece is the embodiment of a story. The art is the land and the land is the art. This is how we share our stories. I think about my grandfather and father, or everything they had, they had to make. Well, that's who we are, right? We do it every day. We're just connected to the land. That's how our ancestors were, and that's where we came from. It's because we've been making this work for, you know, thousands of years. You experience our heritage, you experience our culture, 
you're experiencing how we look at life. In Quebec, there's 55 communities, 11 nations, all with distinct practices, languages, and relationship to the land. So to be indigenous is not one thing. I just wanted to connect back. So I'll bead things that my grandmother would tell me. I bead a lot of, you know, sacred teachings into those sculptures, legends. Yeah, there's a lot of stories in there. I think about the younger generation and we don't want to lose our culture, our identity. Stories need to be told, and if one can pick it up, then the culture lives. That's traveling. Experiencing the people, experiencing the stories, experiencing the land, connecting. Hey, STM. My name is Maria, and I'm here from United Against Racism. There will be a brief meeting today in room 343 for all UAR exec members. Have a great day. Hey, STM. I'm Hannah from Halloween for Hunger. Just a reminder that today is the last day to buy raffle tickets. Sales will close at the end of fourth period, and winners will be drawn during fifth, so stay tuned for that. Also, Halloween is next week on Monday. If you were signed up to doing, for doing a route, make sure you are back at school for 4 o'clock for the send-off. You must sign in with your group in student success. For those of you who are helping in the cafeteria, you can start whenever you can. If you'd like to start after school, you can stay at school and help in the CAF. If you are volunteering in the CAF, you are also required to sign in in student success as well. Information will be posted on our socials, so be sure to be following them at STM underscore H for H. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Claire. And my name is Sarah, and here are your announcements for today. This announcement is another reminder to anyone who ordered football fan swag that orders are in. We will be distributing items for 10 minutes after announcements today outside of room 150A as well as the end of period four and beginning of period five on Monday. Also, due to popular demand, we will be running a second round of fan swag beginning next week until November 9th. Stay tuned for ordering details. This message is for the members of the robotics team who are attending the Stemley Cup this Sunday, October 30th. There's a brief meeting today after school at 2.45 p.m. in room 137. This is a reminder to boys in grade 9 and 10 who made the second round cuts for the junior and novice boys basketball teams that the next tryout will be on Wednesday from 6 to 7.30. If you're interested in trying out for novice or junior girls volleyball, pick up a permission form and survey outside room 353. Any completed forms can also be dropped off in a separate envelope outside room 353. Tryout dates will be announced shortly. Any questions can be directed to Mrs. Bang or Ms. Esfatucci and Ms. Ivaducci. Attention all diversity members, please meet after school today at 2.45 p.m. by the main office for a group picture. Good morning. This is a message from your student trustees. We have partnered with the Dare to Be Youth to host a Unity Conference. The event will be running on November 9th from 4.30 to 8.30 at the Burlington Performing Arts Center. Transportation, food, and drinks are provided for this event. All students to participate will be receiving a Unity box in that Unity box, there will be a t-shirt designed by an Indigenous artist and a Unity book showing students how to expand and share the Unity in the community. They will also receive six volunteer hours for participation. This event is a wonderful opportunity to get involved in the community. For those who can't attend in person, this event is hybrid, so you can join online and still receive the same volunteer hours. For more, inform for more info on sign up, please see Instagram at HWCDSB student trustees and scan the QR code or speak to your student council president. Thanks, STM. Have a good day. Good morning, STM. I'm Marcus, your grade nine rep, here with today's announcements. As you all know, Monday is Halloween and we're celebrating it by having an orange and black shirt day. So, on Monday, you're going to be able to wear an orange or black top with your uniform bottoms. 
Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council. Thanks, STM. Have a great day. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 827. Have a great day.